Here I have done another painting, so you'll see the process, the making, the creating of that, as well as the, the first time I share it with uh, a special person that you will meet in this video, and the performance uh, in a theatre. Decided I want to take this big blue painting off this stretcher, uh, so I'm not influenced by it. So I rolled up this canvas now and I will find a nice corner to put it in, keep it safe. I really like to study art books, I've got a number of them and uh, it's really good to refer to them just for inspiration. So I've started, uh, it's always a ah. Oh, point of uh, taking a deep breath and just jumping in and starting a canvas at the beginning but you know from my other work that oh, how one starts off never ends up being the final result so just better to start really. I am diving in basically with the idea of, of putting in whatever marks um, as you can see, uh, it's rather fun to do something quite loose at this stage and, and try not to actually get too tight. That's my intention. The graphite that I'm using is water soluble. So it ends up being this sort of gray paint. <laughs> so here I, I feel like I want to do um, a landscape in a way that somewhere within it there is a wolf. Um, I'm very excited to reveal the finished painting. Just pitch it up onto this. So this is a very different style of work compared to the last painting that was the deep blue one that I rolled up and put away. And it, I freed up, it's sketch-like, it's not painted to the edges so that it can breathe out. And it's following the theme uh, when I had looked into Yellowstone National Park and looked at the beautiful landscape there, the land, and uh, the idea of the wolf being introduced from having died away in that region due to uh, people basically killing them off. So by reintroducing the wolf, the land came back to life. And that's one of the, the uh, stories that has taken up uh, in the Soundings performance that's happening this month in Norfolk. One of the performers actually came and visited me while I had two visitors, uh, friends, and they actually knew each other. So I've got a little clip to show you now of when I revealed this painting, pretty close to how it is now, to Jude and uh, the response and the wonderful conversations that took place then. It's the Easter weekend and I've got visitors and I'm very excited because Jude, who is the ecologist, narrator, uh, as part of Soundings, has arrived. We are exchanging ideas and thoughts and reactions and then moving on and keeping the flow going. So the story carries on uh, revealing itself. Uh, very exciting. And Jude, come on in. There we are. So this is the painting. Yes, what do you think? Oh, I think that's wonderful. I sent the image to you and it was... Yeah. yeah. It's like putting you on the spot, isn't it? Yeah. Very um, loose, because I think you like that in my other work. That's what you like yeah. in one of my pictures, yeah. don't you? Yeah, because what we want is uh, for the imagination of the people who are uh, listening to us to 
imagine whatever they can so you so if you make it very kind of like precise then it doesn't leave so much to the imagination but mm. something like that's very fluid is um brilliant and wild yeah <laughs> oh that's lovely it's like a... can i just show you my blue painting yeah you see it's again so what i've done for this painting i bought a stretcher to restretch it and I and I, I don't know if I've got a stretcher for this yeah. one to be to show it. This blue is gorgeous. Oh, right? It's so beautiful. It's very vibrant, Spending. isn't it? And now the sun's shining actually mm -hmm. into into the room. So yeah. and and I know this is into the, the, the bison. The bison. Um, apparently, where have they been reintroduced? They're going to be reintroduced in Kent. Yeah. Green, green woods in Kent. Yeah. I applied to be a bison ranger. Did you? <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. It'd be very competitive. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll just roll this up again. Like oh, this is so beautiful. I can't get over it. Just. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when, and when, and the actual. It's amazing how you did that film because you actually made made the Earth moon and yeah. the moon and, and the and the wolf actually kind of like merged in a way that it's like one became the other. Like saving it's, it yeah, out. That's the sort of thing that we've been talking about is a, is kind of like transformation and you know between ways of being. You know. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful, Lisa. Well, it's so great to be working with other people. I think that's the thing that, um, that that's makes it more alive for me. Yeah. And being an isolated artist, sort of. I mean, that's what we're trying to do. Of the old. Bring, we're trying to bring, you know, what we know today, you know, in terms of ecological science, with myth, with art, with poetry, with music. That's yeah. what we're trying to do. So, you, you know, you're such an important element of it. That's so beautiful. Yeah. From that hand, I think we better have some croissants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful day and we're going to take this journey now from the house up to Norfolk to Bungay uh, campsite actually. So the car is completely chocker. So the three of us, two women and a dog, are off to Norfolk. I'm so excited. Just inside the Suffolk border is this rather stunning little town. It's beautiful buildings. We've arrived finally in Bungay and just about to approach the theatre, which is exciting. I think it's somewhere, maybe here, in this street, maybe a bit further down. There we go. Into the auditorium. One, two, one, two. A little bit of testing going on. So here we are. Oh wow! <laughs> here we go. I love it in here. Hello. Great stars of the show! Jude. There you go. And now in the theatre, in the gallery space, um, restretching my canvas uh, so that I can have the painting on display somewhere. It is projected above the stage as they uh, have time to work out the sound. Um, the technicians are brilliant and they're doing a great job. It's all getting ready for tonight's performance. In the meantime, I've just got a few staples to put into the back of the stretcher. Yes. Oh, fare well, my own true love. Farewell for a while. I'm going away, but I'll be back if I go ten thousand miles. Ten thousand miles. My own true love, ten thousand miles or more, and the rocks may melt, and the seas may burn, if I no more return. 
Oh, 